Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and if you are playing the finals, it has been released and I have already made a video on the best settings. So if you have not already, go check it out. This video is going to be for the best Nvidia graphic card control panel settings as well as a lot more things I'm going to be covering in this video for the finals. So make sure to watch this video till the end and do leave your specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, step number one is updating your NVIDIA graphic card drivers to the latest version. Now, I highly suggest you guys to go to either nvidia.com slash download and download the latest drivers according to your computer specifications or else you can download GeForce Experience as I have downloaded. This is also a software from NVIDIA and once you open up this application, it should look like this and in the drivers section, you have to click on these three dots and select the game ready drivers. If you select studio driver, it will give you these two geo dependent drivers however we need the game drivers and the latest driver has support to the finals so once again you have to make sure that you have it downloaded and installed on your pc so make sure to get it installed on your pc and restart it once after doing that do not skip on this game ready driver since it will fix a lot of your crashing and fps drops once it's done simply click on close and let's close out of this well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key i however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since i do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it i can literally get a windows key for a huge discount generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25 percent off at just 1631 and you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark there are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it you will get an email within minutes and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out gvg mall links are in the description below step number two is the best nvidia control panel settings and this is really important you have to open up nvidia control panel on your pc and once you are over here you're gonna have to go to adjust image settings with preview and right over here you have to click on use the advanced 3d image settings right after that click on take me there and we'll take you to manage 3d settings now over here you have to make sure to set your image scaling on ambient occlusion off anisotropic filtering to application control anti-aliasing fxaa off gamma correction on mode application control transparency off application max frame rate off cuda gpus all and then you have the sysmem fallback policy driver default factors of low latency mode ultra max frame rate of multi frame sample double a of then you have open gl auto and select your gpu from the rendering gpu then you have power management mode select prefer maximum performance right beneath that you'll find refresh rate application control shader cache 5 gigabytes for texture filtering, copy these settings. Right after that, you have to go down to threaded optimization and set this thing to auto. Then you have triple buffering off, vertical sync, use the 3D image settings. Then you have virtual reality, gotta set everything beneath that to off and auto. Once it is done, go down to configure surround and physics and over here choose your GPU as the processor. Then you have to go down to change resolution and then over here do not click on scaling resolution. Scroll down until you find PC and over here you have to click on the recommended or the topmost resolution supported by your PC. And for the refresh rate you have to set the maximum available for it. This will be depending from monitor to monitor. I have a 240Hz monitor. It could be different for you. Then go to desktop adjust color settings and over here set your digital vibrance to 70 person this will improve your color settings right beneath that you'll find the adjust video color settings click on with nvidia settings go to advanced and set this thing to full this will improve your dynamic range and it will boost the blacks once it is done simply click on apply settings and then close nvidia control panel next step is create a restore point and for that you need to search for create a restore point on your pc and then look for your local disk c simply click on that and name it the finals nvidia something like that you can remember it from and i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore every settings back you can always do it without any data loss 
Now, lots of you guys are also facing the network issues, ping issues, packet loss, skipping of your game, stuttering, and a lot more. So, I'd recommend you guys to use Gera Booster. You can download this for free from the link in the description below. Now, Gera Booster should look like this, and right over here, you will find the finals on your homepage. If not already, you can always search for the finals from the list over here, and then simply you have to click on the boost button and it will boost the game from the nearest region available to you as you guys can see it will give me a 66 millisecond ping which is directly connecting my pc to the singapore servers and it will eliminate all kinds of ping and packet loss issues you can also monitor your packet loss and the improvement you are getting right from here the best part over here is you can change the region if that doesn't work for you and you can even change the individual node just over here as you guys can see i'm using singapore and jakarta nodes that are nearest to me it will auto pick the nearest node which will help you to reduce your input latency as well as best ping and no packet loss just from this application it doesn't only boost the finals but it has a ton of games to choose from so you can always try gear booster from the link in the description below now next step is the finals nvidia optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can always join my discord server if you're facing any issues along this pack now before going into this fps pack i would like to tell you that the fps pack i've given in the previous video will help you to optimize your windows for this game and this pack will help you to optimize your game with respect to nvidia graphic card so it is safe to use both of the fps packs simultaneously now firstly you'll find in the finals priority this will help you to prioritize your game, allocate your CPU properly and utilize more cores for gaming. Right after that you'll find GPU optimization and this is where your GPU optimization starts. First thing is over here I have left a lot of GPU related registries which will help you to boost your system responsiveness, disable GPU energy driver, power throttling and overall improve your PC's power efficiency. This will help you to use your GPU more efficiently and once you're done applying all of them you have to go to the third one which is the GPU priority. Now over here you have to run the disable DVR1 and 2 it is really important to do so and next is the low med and med high and for this I'd suggest you guys to leave your GPU specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one you have to choose. Once again I've also left a revert registries where you can always revert every setting back if you don't like it. Last is the programs folder where I have left MSI mode utility v3 this is really important run this thing as an administrator. Now once this opens up you have to click in front of your graphic card under the msi section and then from undefined set this thing to high and then simply click on apply this will help you to prioritize the utilization of your gpu in the games and i highly recommend you guys to do this thing as well now comes the part of the best in game settings and for that you need to open up discovery or you can simply open up the finals from your pc Okay, once you are in your game, what you have to do is go over to settings and then you have to look up for the video settings right over here. Then make sure that your window mode is set to full screen resolution is your native resolution. Then your vSync is set to disabled, reflex low latency should be on plus boost, resolution scaling method should be NVIDIA DLSS and your DLSS should be set to performance right after that your field of view should be set to 100 motion blur and lens distortion should be set to disable rtx should be static overall quality level should be set to low and with all that said you're good to go so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below also do let me know how much fps performance did you get from that and also i have introduced channel membership so if you guys are not yet a part of my channel consider getting a subscription it really supports me out and i really appreciate you guys so we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out